And here's some good digital art, man. I like it. Man, I gotta write your guys' names now, because I gotta I gotta give everybody follows here. Crazy. Right? That Japanese mask though, man. Okay, so dragon. Oh gosh. Dragon. Ross. Looking for all these little things that might be wrong here. So many dragons. We do have a lot of dragons. We got dragon feather. Kalguru, welcome in. How you doing? Long time no see. We got dragon Ross. What else we got? We got some other dragons in here? Rare dragons. She's not here.
and uh, people will post on there maybe if they're having hard times or something they'll post on their request for something it, maybe they need some uh, some extra uh, toiletries or something like that you know and 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 people you usually do an amazon wish list and people will go on there and they'll they'll donate some things and and help people out as they are and uh people will put out offers as well yeah a random act of kindness but i think the subreddit is just random kindness um but same idea um and some people will go on there and they'll put on offers maybe they got an extra bag of dog food they'll say if you're near here you can i'll send it to you you know and uh there's a couple artists on there actually as well some people do um there was somebody doing uh pet stickers on there and uh there's a couple other things and i was thinking once we get uh once we get caught up on on uh, some of these portraits maybe we'd put a post on there and say okay you know what we'll do a pet portrait for for a random stranger that maybe lost their uh maybe lost their pet or something and and uh We'd let people respond with some pictures and stuff like that, and we'd put it up on stream, and we'd we'd go through them and and pick. Not all of them have the same texture that this one has, um, but all I use is my hockey brush. And you go in very, very roughly and, and not really caring what you're doing, you know, and kind of give the, give it that, that kind of sketchy background. As far as the uh, texture that I achieved in here, a lot of this is, is, comes down to the color that I use. And I paint pretty much all in Daniel Smith paints. This one in particular is a paint called cascade green and you'll notice um if i can get this i don't know if it's going to focus on it but if you can get it closer you can see up in here it kind of separates a little bit out into uh kind of a green and a goldy brown and that's one of the features of that paint is it uh it, it definitely granulates into some interesting textures and colors so i really like it for that especially when you add water i think i dropped a little bit of water here to create a bloom and it pushes the paint out. The brown tends to stay behind, but the green gets pushed out to the edge. Yeah, it, it, it creates some really cool granulation. Uh, so that's how I got that texture. Some of the other ones that I did, uh, they were just kind of flat colored textures, which is cool too. I like them, it's like the pink one. It was just a... I love paints that granulate that. Do you ever paint with uh, Daniel Smith duochrome paints? No, we had a couple of them. Uh, when my